The St. Petersburg Travel Company and NetWorld is proud to present the ultimate incentive travel destination, the magnificent city of St. Petersburg. A visit to St. Petersburg is an adventure into time for much of the romance and culture of the 19th century has been kept alive and is still enjoyed by the people of St. Petersburg. Built on 44 islands and connected by numerous bridges spanning its rivers, waterways and canals, St. Petersburg has been called the Venice of the North. With broad streets and avenues, old parks, squares and gardens, an array of majestic architecture set against a magnificent northern sky, St. Petersburg is truly a sight to behold. Here, you will find luxurious modern hotels you can choose from, such as the St. Petersburg Hotel and the modern Hotel Priboleskaya, located on the Gulf of Finland with a magnificent majestic view of the Baltic Sea. The Hotel Astoria, with its old world charm and luxury, located in the heart of St. Isaac Square. Although newly renovated, it still retains its 19th century charm. The rooms are richly furnished and oh so comfortable. Here, you can dine in an atmosphere of marble statues set under a beautiful cut glass domed ceiling while being enthralled by live entertainment. And of course, there is the Grand European Hotel. After three years of renovation, it re-established itself among the world's most prestigious five-star hotels. With spacious and plushly decored guest rooms and modern and luxurious bathrooms, it makes staying in St. Petersburg a genuine pleasure. The Grand European's atrium makes a perfect place to get together with friends. Here, you can order light dishes and drinks. The city of St. Petersburg was founded in 1703 by Tsar Peter the Great, who brought together the finest of Russian and Western European architects to construct one of the world's most beautiful cities. This is Vasilyev Island, on which stands several notable structures. The Peter and Paul Fortress, standing opposite the Winter Palace, was built between 1703 and 1740 by Peter the Great and became the starting point for the city of St. Petersburg. Inside the walls is the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. Paul, topped by a slender spire 402 feet high, one of St. Petersburg's landmarks. In it are buried Peter the Great, Catherine II, Alexander II, and other Russian rulers. In the center of the square rises the Bronze Horseman, unveiled in 1782, an equestrian statue of Peter the Great by the French sculptor Falconet. Facing the Neva stands the Winter Palace, a former Tsarist residence built between 1754 and 1761 after plans by Bartolomeo Rostrelli, an Italian architect. Since the Bolshevik Revolution, the Winter Palace has been made part of the Hermitage considered to be one of the world's greatest art museums. Founded in 1764 by Catherine II, it houses collections spread through more than 300 rooms that include some of the best-known masterpieces with over three million exhibits. And in the evening, go to the Hermitage Theater. This theater was built for Catherine II as part of the Hermitage Winter Palace and is one of the most beautiful theaters in the city. Here, you'll enjoy champagne and a private performance by the Giselle Ballet Company. Take an unforgettable ride on the Neva River with the hydrofoil to Peterhof. A 20-minute ride along the Neva River 
will give you yet another perspective of St. Petersburg. Arriving at Peterhof, you will be impressed by the Grand Palace with its Marine Canal and Grand Cascade built by Peter the Great. The many memorable sights include the gigantic fountains rocketing plumes of water skyward and some of the most spectacular landscaping the world has ever seen. In tourist luxury buses will take you to the town of Pavlovsk and Pushkin where you will visit Catherine and Alexander Parks. At Alexander, enjoy the palace and lovely grounds that Catherine built for her son. Inside, you will be amazed at what true wealth indeed can bring. Unbelievable examples of the luxurious lifestyles led by czarist rulers. As you walk through the large corridors and room after room that indicate wealth and power that once was possessed by the czars and their family, then you will visit the beautiful Catherine Park, where Catherine the Great had her magnificent palace built in the center of formal gardens and sculptured fountains. This magnificent palace was built for Peter the Great's second wife, Catherine I. Later, it was extended by Catherine II, known as Catherine the Great. As you enjoy visiting and experiencing some of the world's most outstanding historical places, don't miss St. Isaac's Square. What an impressive sight. On one side of the square is a monument to Nicholas I, with the former Marlinsky Palace in the background. On the other side, the huge St. Isaac's Cathedral with a gold dome that can be seen for miles around. St. Isaac's Cathedral was built between 1819 and 1858 after plans by the French architect Auguste de Montferrand. The church, surmounted by a gilded dome rising 330 feet. In its heyday, it could accommodate 13,000 people. Thousands of people came to pray and ask for good health, prosperity, and better days to come. But the prayers were silenced in 1928. The church was closed down and religion was abolished by the Communist Party. Today, the church is opened once again as a museum for all to come and see. The city of St. Petersburg on the coast of the Baltic Sea. The rostral columns, once used as lighthouses, today they are reminders of the great Russian Empire. The triumphal arc of the former General Staff Building. While in St. Petersburg, attend the theater, the opera, other cultural events, and don't miss the famous Russian circus. After a twilight tour of the city, visit the famous Troika restaurant for an evening of an unforgettable cabaret show. It's not hard to see why Peter the Great fell in love with these surroundings. You see, Peter the Great founded the city as St. Petersburg in 1703. He had visited Western Europe and wanted to bring Western culture and technology to Russia. He made St. Petersburg his window to the West, a showcase for his efforts to westernize Russian life. Western architects played an important role in the city's construction. In 1712, Peter moved the nation's capital from Moscow to St. Petersburg. 
the new capital soon became the intellectual and social center of the Russian Empire. Until this day, this magnificent city retains its charm and beauty. An evening stroll through this window to the west is like stepping back in time. St. Petersburg, memories made here last a lifetime. <laughs>